Welcome back. Psychopaths aren't always as evil as they appear in the movies. Victoria University researchers have found that many ordinary people are psychopaths. But as Adam Hollingworth reports, they can still wreak havoc in the workplace. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans. This is the way Hollywood depicts psychopaths, but movies like Silence of the Lambs aren't that accurate. Most psychopaths are actually quite ordinary, so in addition to having some of the characteristics of psychopathy, those guys also have some other things that are not typical of psychopathy, for example, being really intelligent or being really bizarre. He's going to get me killed. In fact, you don't have to be a murderer to be a psychopath. Polaszczyk says the reckless bomb-diffusing hero of the Hurt Locker, William James, is one too. That was good. Someone who does dangerous things and things that can harm other people, but there's no malevolence in it. There's no sort of sense of trying to get out to hurt people. It's really more a byproduct of the fact that he throws himself into highly risky situations without thinking about how his behaviour is going to affect him and others. Polaszczyk's study shows to be a psychopath, you just have to be too bold, too impulsive, and too mean, or even have just two of those characteristics in abundance. The problem we've had, I think, is that we've been emphasising the combination of meanness and disinhibition rather than considering the combination of boldness and disinhibition, which is an equally valid way of thinking about psychopathy. But that could apply to just about anyone, from sports stars to executives. Investment commentator Brian Gaynor says New Zealand doesn't have many boardroom psychopaths, but there are a few. Oh, they can do a lot of damage. I think we might have seen some of those characteristics with the finance companies in New Zealand, where one or two individuals who are probably a little bit too impulsive and bold took control of those companies, and they didn't have a strong board of directors that kept them in check. As many as one in a hundred could be psychopaths, but if they're identified early enough, it's possible to help them smooth over their rough edges. I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Adam Hollingworth, Bye. 3 News.